Hello everyone, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome back to this video. So guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, what exactly this BIGO is. So BIGO is nothing but uh, it's just a language and metric we use to describe the efficiency of an algorithm. So basically, an algorithm performance can vary actually, the input size actually will be giving. So let's take an example and try to understand what I'm trying to say. So let's say you want to share one GB of file to your friends. So what would be the easiest way for you to send this file to your friends? So the easiest way would be electronic way. So here you can use email to send this particular file to your friends. So it will take very less time. But let's say you want to share 10 terabyte of file to your friends. So actually it will take more than one day to uh, deliver this particular file to your friends. Okay, if you're using electronic way. But if you're let's say going physically, okay, to your friends actually. So here let's say what you can do, you can take a plane actually and you can uh, go there. Physically you can go there and you can uh, give the file to your friends. So it will take very less time, okay. But let's say if I'm sharing this particular 10 terabyte of file uh, with the help of this uh, electronic way, so it will take more than one day. But if I'm taking one plane actually and if I'm going physically there, so if I'm taking let's say more than 10 terabyte also, the time would be constant here, okay, it will take. So let's say you are in country A and your friend is in country B. So the duration takes actually to reach uh, like from country A to country B, let's say two hours. So if you are taking also more than 10 terabyte, so it will take only two hours, okay? So there is no, like you can say input size vary here. So if your input size is like more than 10 terabyte also, it will take two hours only. But here, if I'm sending more than 10 terabyte, it will, it might take, let's say more than two days also, okay? If I'm sending uh, in an electronic way. So that is why uh, I told you uh, this uh, algorithm can vary based on the input size, okay? Based on the input size, the input size actually you will be giving to the uh, algorithm. With respect to that, uh, the algorithm performance can also vary. So what you can see guys here, uh, in the first method, if my size increasing, input size increasing, okay? my uh, delivery time is also increasing and in the method 2 actually if my input size is increasing so my delivery time would be constant there okay there won't be any chance because it will take two hours only to reach to that uh, like you can say country if i'm going physically there okay so in computer science we call it as time complexity so what is time complexity time complexity is nothing but a way of showing how the runtime of a function increases as the size of the input increases so as you can see in the, first uh, in the first method, actually, whenever I was uh, sending that uh, particular file uh, in the electronic way, so if my size input size is increasing, okay, if my file size is increasing, that means delivery time also increasing, okay, as you can see from this graph. But in the method two, actually, if my um, input size, that means my file size is increasing, okay, if I'm taking a plane, so there won't be any change in the delivery time. As you can see, delivery time is uh, constant here, okay. So that is called actually time complexity of an algorithm. So I already uh, given you the idea of what, what is an algorithm. So algorithm is nothing but it just uh, steps uh, of any task, okay? So let's say whenever we are writing any kinds of code actually, so how much time actually this code is taking to run, okay? And giving you the output. So that is called actually the time complexity. Now let's try to understand uh, in detail what is exactly this time complexity in a code. So let's say I have two code, code one and code two. So uh, this two code will give you the same output, but this code has been written in a different way actually. So let's say uh, this code is for, let's say it will give you like, let's, let's say uh, summation of 10 different numbers, okay? But you have written in a different, different logic, but code will give you the same output, okay? So you have code one and code two. Now here you just need to decide which code is better, okay? Which code is better and which, so which code will give you more efficient output and which code will execute very fast, okay? You just need to decide. So I can't uh, like decide with the help of this uh, weight uh, meter here, okay? So here what I can do actually, I can uh, set a timer and I can measure the time of this two code and whatever code actually will execute like very fast, I will consider that code as a efficient code, okay? That particular algorithm as an efficient algorithm, okay? So let's try to understand for this, I'll be uh, using my blackboard to make you understand that particular concept. So here, let's say I have code one, and I have code two. So let's say this code one takes time, okay, uh, to execute and give the output. Let's say this code one uh, takes time, let's say uh, it takes, let's say 10 seconds, okay, 10 seconds uh, to give you the output, okay. Uh, basically, it uh, takes 10 seconds to run this particular code and code two takes, let's say five seconds, okay. Now here, if you see code two takes like less time than your code one, so I can consider this code is a Okay, this code is a efficient code. Efficient, efficient code. Okay, that means this algorithm is uh, efficient algorithm. Okay, but here how I can measure the time? Okay, how I can measure one uh, let's say efficient code? So I can't actually use the timer here. 
basically i can't use a timer if i'm using timer so what will happen see if you are executing this particular code okay this particular code in a good configuration pc okay good configuration pc okay let's say this uh, pc is having let's say core i okay core i uh, core i7 processor and let's say this code you are running in a like let's say port configuration pc for configuration pc let's say it is having core i core i3 processor so definitely this code will run very fast because it is running on the good configuration pc right but here i can see code 2 is the better than code 1 because it is taking 5 seconds to run okay but whenever you are running this particular code in a poor configuration pc you will see this time will increase here okay then your code 1 so that is an actually issue here okay so that is why actually we we won't be using any kinds of timer to measure our uh, like let's say code efficiency okay so here instead of considering this timer we'll be considering the number of okay number of operation okay operation in this particular code okay so if this number of operation is like more here okay let's say number of operation is more in this code one so definitely it will take more time to run this particular code okay because number of operation is like high here but if uh, number of operation is less in this code too that means this code is very fast okay it will execute in very fast because number of operation is less here okay so that is why in time complexity we don't consider the time okay to measure this particular code performance we won't be using any kinds of timer or let's say any kinds of time okay instead of that what we'll be doing we'll be seeing the number of operation actually happening inside the code okay and that is called that is called actually time complexity time complexity complexity of an algorithm okay algorithm okay and here with the help of this bigo okay with the help of this bigo we measure this number of operation okay we measure this number of operation so that is why actually bigo comes into picture okay with the help of this bigo we'll be measuring this number of operation and we'll be seeing the performance of our algorithm okay so that is called algorithm efficiency okay and how to measure this algori al algorithm efficiency with the help of this big o okay i can measure uh, this kinds of uh, algorithm efficiency okay that is why uh, in the definition itself i think you saw that let me show you so big o is a language and metric we use to describe the efficiency of an algorithm okay so now i think uh, this term is clear like what exactly this big o is okay and why actually we use it and guys apart from this time complexity we have another term inside uh, algorithm called space complexity okay space complex complexity okay so what is this space complexity so whenever we are trying to consider this time complexity we also need to consider the space complexity so to give you one example of this space complexity so let's take the same example let's say this is code one so let's say this is code one and uh, it is taking let's say uh, what is the time let's say uh, 10 seconds i think you remember so it is taking 10 seconds to run this particular code and we have code 2 okay we have code 2 and it is taking let's say 5 seconds it is taking 5 seconds okay now let's say this code uh, let me take a new color so let's say this code this code 1 uh, let's say this is the memory okay this is the memory so i think you know how this memory represent uh, in our computer let's say this is the memory so i can take a color here so let's say this code one is taking less memory okay whenever it is executing so let's say this is the memory this code has taken okay this is the memory this code one has taken okay and the code two so what i can do actually i can take uh, this image and i can use it here now let's say this course code two is taking that much of each space okay that much of space to run this particular code okay now although if you see here this code one is take, taking more time but it is taking less space okay then that time actually i can consider this code is better okay this code is better and this code is not better okay this code is not better why because it is taking more space than your code one okay so guys here inside this big o whenever we're uh, trying to calculate this big o okay we should always consider the time and space complexity both okay based on that actually we will be deciding which algorithm or let's say which code is better okay based on that actually we'll be selecting that particular code 
and uh, whenever i'll be like uh, doing the coding and all i'll show you how to measure this kinds of space and time complexity okay we'll be using both uh, uh, like you can say uh, i mean uh, measurement and we'll be evaluating our code okay code performance so guys here if you see there are some types of this runtime so we can define this runtime with the help of this big of uh, big of n then big of uh, n square then big of then uh, big of 2 to the power n okay so I'll be explaining these are the terms separately. No need to worry about. Now let's say you want to measure the time complexity uh, to paint this wall. So let's say this word uh, with this W and height is uh, H. So the time complexity would be a big of WH. Okay. So this is the time complexity. So guys, it is very crucial whenever we are writing any kinds of code, this uh, complexity should be less. Otherwise, uh, actually it won't be giving you the efficient results. Okay. It will take like more time to run this particular, uh, let's say application and all. Okay. So let's say if your uh, application is taking lots of time. So uh, what will happen actually user will definitely delete your application. Okay. They won't be ever using your application. Okay. Because uh, they don't have actually super computer uh, to run your code. Okay. So they will have different, different device and the device uh, performance uh, might be vary. Okay, some of the device would be poor, some of the device would be in a high, higher configuration. So you should always take care of the device as well, okay? So the code actually we have to write, that should be actually reduce the space complexity as well as the time complexity, okay? So yes guys, this is all about uh, this uh, big O, okay? Now I think you uh, got the idea of what is this big O exactly, okay? And what is the time complexity and what is the space complexity, okay? So let's connect in our next video and try to understand a new topic. Thank you so much.